implement our HTML structure, let's just take a look at it again and see how it works. So I just try to label the boxes that we drew. So we're going to have section to wrap it all. Then inside the section, we're going to still have like a div container to wrap the content. Then each of the content segments will have a div on its own. Then we have a div again. So let's implement the same thing. Now back to our HTML, we don't have anything on our page yet. So we'll just declare section, which is going to be section, then section. Then this is our section. We want to give it the class of testimonia. Testimonials. Okay, so let's leave a comment to write a comment in HTML is like this. Then we want to just say testimonial section. We just say testimonial, testimonial section. Then we just want to add to the end, just so our code is neater to understand. We're just going to say end testimonial section end. Then the next thing we need to check is we need to also inside we need to declare our h2 so we can just say h2 inside the h2 is where we're going to have our testimonials so we can just say testimonials all right so you can see that we already have like the header the next is we need to declare this div that is going to wrap the content then we can just come and say div then we want to also enter and just write our comment as well so let's just say this is going to be the wrapper we can just call it wrapper then we're just going to wrap it again with end wrapper this is just going to make us to know the beginning and the end in the event where we have a very long length of html so now that we've declared this outer div, the next thing is we need to declare this very div. Now to declare this very div, we're still just going to do the same thing and just give it, let's say div. We're just going to give it the class of profile, profile. Okay. So this is going to be our user one. So we can just paste this and just call it user1. Then we need to end the user1 as well. Remember we have three users. So this is just going to be end user, user1 end. So when we have this, you can already tell that our structure is coming up. So inside the user1 is where we're going to have all the details or all the content for user1. Remember this whole thing like this is going to be user one these and this so we're just going to declare our first div that we house this content the meta content so to do that we're just going to say div in fact let's start with the class we're just going to say class of user meta okay so this is going to house the content for the user the first content is actually image. Now the image source, I have some images stored in my folder, in the asset folder. So we're just going to locate those images. So we're just going to say asset. Then we want to locate images. Let's just use image one. So we're just going to say user one. So the next type of content we need to have is the username. We need the username so that can be in form of h3 so the user first user can be milton austin yes yeah, so that's going to be our first user we can say we can then declare where it works so we can put that in a p tag it works as a sales manager manager at slack Okay, so you can see that we have the username and the picture of the first user. Now, what we need to do after declaring this meta, if you look at our content again, we need a div 
for the actual message from the user so we're just going to declare another div that is just going to house the meta information from the user so we can give it a class of can give it the class of message details right so message details something is missing here okay yes so this is where the message of this particular user is going to be we can give it a header of h4 so it's just going to be h4 and we can then say what the user said as the title so let's say it was a a great experience so the next is we need the the div to handle we just need a div that's div or span to handle this star you can just say class of rating we're going to put all the star inside just in a minute but let's put the p tag the p tag for the actual message that the user is giving to us so i have dummy content in our readme file i'm just going to paste it in the p tag so you can see it so let's have another p tag because you can see here that they have two paragraph so i'm just going to copy another line from our readme file and paste it you can see that we have that for the user for the user one so let's just check what we've done so far okay so we've declared the fundamental HTML structure so let's just let's say missed up somewhere with the auto completion let's just finish it up here okay all right so let's check our page and make sure it's loading fine yes our page is sort of like loading fine so all we need to do next is to look for our star then to look for star i'm just going to use the stop star icon generator i'm just going to type star then we can copy we can copy this code and just paste it where we have the star i think we have five stars one two three four five yes and once we check you can see that we have the five star so the next to do in order for us to have other users is for us to duplicate the same the same user code i'm just going to copy from user one so that we can display to do that we just copy user one and just duplicate it so to duplicate on vs code downward is going to be shift command d to duplicate downward so i just need one space then we need to change the name of user 2 let's change the name you can see that we already have duplicate so let's change the name and image of user 2 to image 2 we can give user 2 john then the surname is going to be Rares. Then we can say is the head of sales. Sales at Asana. Just save and check if we have something so you can see user 2 is John. Then let's try to also move forward so user 2 said that he is going to do business with them again again that's what user 2 said so let's just make sure that we did this comment to user 1 to 2 the next is let's duplicate i'm just going to duplicate it so this is going to be our user 3 and user 3 here we can change the picture to three i already have all the pictures in the folders then user tree name is called luke harper 
can just call it Luke Harper. He is the head sales team at Instinct Hub. Sales team at Instinct Hub. Okay. He said that their staff are just so good at what they do. Let's just say their staff are just so good at what they do. If you save it and you check, you can see that we have three users with three different content and three stars. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at how to style it so that by the time we are done, we're going to have something similar to our example. And that's how we wrap it up for this session. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at how to style it in order to look like what the designer had done. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media and do. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.